hello and welcome to my tutorial part 4 in this part I will show you how to make a custom theme file you already have a theme file but you don't know how to edit and you don't know how to create your own theme file I will show you that of course uh, let's take that you have already a theme file from blade base of course uh, and if you are watching my three parts so far you are done uh, Windows visual style file visual style file and you are done all images from these folders e except this one uh, and uh, still you need to edit a theme file so probably uh, you will not have option to open a theme file so right click and go to open with and choose notepad you can choose default program and choose again notepad click OK and you will get this so what we have here we have we have copyright and this is of course from Mr. Grimm design this theme is from Mr. Grimm and if you want you can rename it this to something else Microsoft this is theme uh, we have display name how you want to theme to be displayed I will say like uh, tutorial and brand image brand image is this logo and this logo must be in PNG file so uh, navigate to C Windows Resources Teams Blade. You need to enter a uh, same name as folder. So this is the folder, and this is the name of folder, like you see. And now just type a name of image, and in my case this is just logo, and type logo.png. That's it. Now. Uh, what these are computer users file network recycle bin this is for this is for this okay these five images okay if you want to change them to default uh, icons simply uh, simply open arrow arrow team file you know copy this copy this open a blade base and just paste it like me okay paste it and now uh, you will have a uh, you should have default uh, icons and I will show you that later now what is this control panel cursors of course uh, you know that this is cursors and we have glass Mac and also if you want to change that from default do the same copy every letter oops copy uh, open blade base and paste it okay now what we have here we have a control panel desktop and this is for wallpapers okay I will show you that I will close arrow I don't need it anymore now you need to take um, first this name blade base so uh, system read don't touch this resources themes and this is the name of folder this is the name of folder where are wallpapers and now I will type uh, number one because backgrounds and this is number one of course don't forget to put a name of wallpaper and dot jpag okay leave this same don't touch anything uh, now we have visual style of course navigate to resources themes name of folder 
and now you need to enter the name of MS Styles. MS Styles is this must be same like this one okay don't touch this uh, I have sounds leave the same if you want to have uh, sounds from B uh, blade base if you want to have default sounds uh, you need to do the same uh, like I show you okay you have sounds down below so copy this and just paste it okay now uh, these are for for sound shim you have every sound shim here you can see that and this list is pretty much big okay finally we have a slideshow you can delete this and I will enter my custom uh, slideshow this is from mine team I will enter this slideshow okay copy and I will paste it here so now you need to navigate to teams blade base uh, backgrounds so let's take out a uh, name of folders blade base this is the name of folder you can see and this is the name of folder of these wallpapers you can see backgrounds here now item zero pad is teams uh, do the same blade base enter name backgrounds number one and this one is jpag okay I will do the same just I will copy this and don't forget that item zero pad must be item one pad so this one will be two the second uh, one will be item uh, three pad you know and you can continue with numbers okay resource blade backgrounds number two and number three uh, let's see that I have something on mind maybe I have skip okay you don't need this you can delete it and now let's say that you are done your team file you have edited a uh, team file on your way how you like it and now you can just click on file save you can close this and now we have saved our blade base copy this go to teams I will delete this okay I will paste a new edited team blade base so let's see how it look like and you can see that we have our uh, images in my previous tutorial uh, you should see that I have a black screen only black screen was here and now we have wallpapers all three wallpapers so what we change it we change it a cursor cursors is now default uh, icons are default actually not for me for you will be because I have custom icon pack this is icon pack shine if you are interested and what we have uh, uh, changed else blade base yeah we have changed a name so let's see the name 
you can see that it's tutorial uh, it's not more blade base it's tutorial because we change it you can see it's not so hard okay we have changed it. icons are fine cursors are default we have changed it, uh, backgrounds and that's it you're done that is how you can edit a team file also you can uh, right click and you can choose this option next desktop background and you will see that you have all three backgrounds okay here are the teams I'll close this window close this one and everything is working perfect uh, we have custom team file this is team file and this here is Windows visual style file so don't forget that uh, and that was tutorial how to edit and how to make your custom team file so I really hope that this help and if you have any problems uh, write in comment I will respond to you and next tutorial will be how to import uh, themes for from Windows 7 to Windows 8 so see you next tutorial and bye